Oh, I'm so excited. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome to the Red Planet to Surviving Mars, a brand new game from Paradox Interactive, produced, I believe, by Hamimont Games. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, we're here. I just booted it up. I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I, I've done nothing. Uh, there's an easy start and a new game. I'm assuming that easy start is basically tutorial. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and also assume I should probably do that first and not just jump right in, because this game is all about surviving the rigors of Mars. Not an easy task, and not one I think I'm going to be able to just pick up and go with. So let's go ahead with Easy Start. The drones. And the music is awesome! Ah! I'm so excited! Let's do this! Welcome to Mars. Alright, Mission Control, log number one. Welcome to Mars. Everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its precious cargo. Our remotely controlled eyes and hands on the red planet, the drones, and rovers. Our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building the first Martian dome. This daunting endeavor will allow the brave pioneers, the founders, to settle on Mars and prove that the colony is sustainable. But until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough construction resources. Water, oxygen, and power. Mission Sponsor, International Mars Mission. Commander Profile, Rocket Scientist. That is right. Someone made me a rocket scientist. They're going to bitterly regret that decision. All right. Welcome to Mars. Let's designate a landing site for the rocket. A promising area has already been scanned for resources. Select the rocket from the highlighted icon at the bottom of your screen. I got a rocket. I have our... Oh, the Courage number one. It's got a, a, a an, an RC rover, explorer, and transport. Six drones, one drone hub, one moisture evaporator. Oh, Star Wars. And two Sterling generators. It's like Sterling silver? Okay. Select the rocket. Pick a landing site. Ideally, this would be a location in, uh, in a flat area near discovered resource deposits. Uh, so we have water there, and we have some kind of metal there, I think, or, or, or some of the resources there. Okay, so that's the only thing I see, right? That's, that's some of the resources here. Yeah. So I think, we, I, think, I think we want to just put down here, then. Why don't we just go ahead and plunk down... Some rocks there. Plunk down. Oh, there's a rock in the way. Dang it. I wanted to go like, like like right there to be like evenly between them, but here's fine too. Here it comes. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I should click things. Oh, I can modify my, my, my view a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's all sleek and beautiful. Look at it. Oh, look at it. 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 Hey, it must be our rover. Whoa, whoa, what, what? Oh, I can pan with arrow with the the, the WSAD keys, and and you're you're going without me. Don't go without me. Uh, permanent buildings are constructed by drones. Open the build menu with right click or B. Select a building and place it on the desired location with left click. Suggest a building a large solar panel to generate power. Makes sense to me. Why am I way out here though? Rover, explorer, transport. Okay, so drones. I need drones. I got drones. Don't I? Orbital probe. Hello. Uh -huh. Rover, Explorer, Transport. No, I need drones. Hang on. Um, transports resources, finds and analyzes anomalies. Ha! Uh, no, that that that, that repairs drones. Well, how the heck do I drone? Oh dear. Uh, let me fix my angle. There we go. That'll help. Okay, so I have my three vehicles. <clears throat> I need, I need, I need, I need to figure out where, where, where the heck the drone buttons are. Oh, right. Right click. Drone hub. Controls drones. No, it, was, it said we, we needed a solar thing first, didn't it? Uh, power. Large solar panel. Beautiful. Alright, so that blocks things there. We don't want to block our path too, too much. Let's just stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it here, I guess. Not, not too far away. Actually, is there like a radius on these things, or is it fine if I just put it where, wherever I want to? Generates power during the daytime. Its effectiveness is decreased by dust accumulation and, and during dust storms. Protected from dust while turned off. Costs four red bricks. Metals. Aha, metals. I, I have a legend over here. Four metals. Ma uh, maintenance is one metal, and base production is five power. Okay, that sounds just peachy. Smack you down there. Oh, little little drones! I didn't even see them there. Look, 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 look how tiny and adorable they are! Hi, little guys. Meet Morp. 
Oh, and they unfold. Oh, the mine, the metals themselves. That's that's pretty cool, actually. Look little guys. They have like a little 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 pot built into their their, their body to hold stuff. It's adorable. All right, so they're gonna bring the, the solar thing over there. That's fine. Uh, select a sector to scan. Okay, that would be for the explorer, right? Uh, the RC Explorer can analyze anomalies found on the surface of Mars. Orders are given with the buttons in, 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 in the info panel or using the right click. Do I need to scan this? Or can it just kind of do its own thing? I'm not seeing any other anomalies, like, uh, immediately here, but hell if I know. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, transport is to transport resources. It does not seem to be doing anything there, does it? Rename the Explorer, pin stuff, battery. Oh, they have, they have batteries. Of course they do. Uh, recharge, salvage, move and interact. Okay. We're well, supposed to be finding anomalies. Uh, high chance that this... Is, okay, so each sector has, has, has a chance for, for having things in it. High chance that it contains concrete and metal. Seems to be a pretty standard thing. Oh, this is buildable, but not that much. It's got, like, mountains in it, so it's... Okay. Less buildable, less buildable. Uh, less buildable. There's not a whole lot of round here that I'm seeing. We've got a lot of metals and concrete, but no water. I mean, we have water in our current place. That's fine, I guess, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and select this one to be scanned. And we'll check back on that in a bit. I, I, I guess the rover doesn't... Sorry, the explorer doesn't have to do that on its own. I don't know. <coughs> Okay, so this thing. Um, okay, so we can increase game speed. That's good to know. Uh, solar panel. Hourly production, 5 power. It can store power, I believe. No, that's a power grid. Sorry that, I was just fixing the, 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 uh, the volume a bit there. Because it was getting a little bit loud, the, 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 the music was, rather. Oh, we have research as well. Oh, goodness, do we ever. Uh, research will unlock various benefits for the colony, obviously. Uh, re researching any technology will make a new, a new technology in its field available for research. Okay. Changing active research will preserve the progress of the previously researched technology. Okay. Why is this one, uh, okay. Jet propulsion is, uh, is there for some reason, but the rest of them are blank. <clears throat> Transport optimization. Magnetic filtering. Oh, more oxygen production. That's probably good. Low G high rises, uh, it's apartments. The transport transport optimization uh, lets the RC transport harvest resource faster, increases its storage. That's probably not a bad thing to have initially. Low G turbines, wind turbine upgrade, power production increase. That's probably a good idea as well. And social productivity training. Engineers and geologists have plus ten performance in working in their specialty. I'm going to go ahead and take the transport optimization to start with, because we don't have any people with air needs right now. That is going to be number one. We generate 300 science or, or research per sol... I guess per day? I, I, I guess? Um, so that'll take us three or four days. That's fine, I guess. Okay, so this thing then, the, the, hang on, the transport, you can just collect resources, can't you? Aha! So I'll have you gathering up some metal then, because you need some more of that stuff, I think. Ah, so yes, we 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 are on Sol One. Martian days consist of nearly twenty-five Earth hours. Okay, we're 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 figuring this out a little bit at a time. This has a power thing. Does that mean it needs to be plugged into something, or does that mean it's fine? Like, does it mean that it's making power, or that it needs like a power thing? Power accumulator stores power. That's probably what we need, honestly. <coughs> uh, the Sterling generator generates power. Based on what? When it's closed, it's shielded from dust, but does less power. Okay. Power cables. Power switches. Power accumulators. We should probably get some some accumulators built up, though, because, you know, we need to be able to store power over the, the evening. Because right now, we have solar, and solar does nothing at night, and it's getting dark, and we're going to get screwed. I'm going to die. I'm going to die so fast, but it's fine. Um, how about resource stuff? Aha, storages. Universal Depot. Those are good. I'm going to go ahead and slap that down over here. Can I rotate these? Is there a way to rotate this? Um, 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 um. <clears throat> mm. 
No, I'm not seeing a rotate just yet. Okay, well, whatever, it's fine. I'll figure that one out later. So you're taking in resources. You're loading up on metals. You have four right now, but you're still digging, dig, dig, digging away. The rover is a mobile base for our drones. Ah, spiffy. I'll put you over here then, because you're nearer to the stuff we're actually doing. Hey, look, they have all these parts we already have. What is that? Delivering machine part. Delivering polymers. Delivering electronics. Polymers. Machine parts. Okay, so I, 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 guess, I suppose we came with a certain number of these things already, didn't we? Okay, that's fine. If automated mode is activated, the rocket will, can, will repeatedly travel to Earth and back. It'll land on the same spot and won't carry any imports or passengers from Earth. The rocket will launch to, to Earth when the cargo hold is full and the rocket is refueled. Why would we want that? I mean, maybe I should actually read what it was for. Delivers cargo or colonists to Mars. Commands nearby drones. Contaminates nearby buildings with dust when landing and taking off. Requires fuel for the return trip to Earth. Oh no, I put things too close to it. Okay, that's 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 not great, but we're 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 learning these things. Oh, I see. So they're they're, they're offloading all, all the things that, that we brought with us on the ship into the general depot. I see. Our power thing is shut down on the kind of the fact that it is night time. And it's not connected to a power consumer, but we're working on that. Oh no, it's no no, that's that's a power storage thing. We do need something that actually uses power to, for it to be of any use to us. That makes sense. Um, <clears throat> concrete extractor, metal extractor. Oh, we have extractors. That's probably a much much better way to go about doing this. Factories, so much. Moxie. What? This produces oxygen. No production during dust storms. Okay, there's a thing called Moxie. Cool. Oxygen tank, water extractor, moisture evaporator. Aha. Yes, we came with some of those, didn't we? I feel like we had some of those. <clears throat> Available prefabs. This is water from the atmosphere, and the extractor does it from the ground, I believe. Yeah, that would, that would, that would make sense. Pipes, pipe valve, hydroponic farms, produces food. Okay. So we need water to make food. We need water also for drinking. Oxygen just sort of does a thing on its own. Okay, there's a lot to take in here, but we're 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 handling it a little bit. The the, the rocket landing site, maybe not the best thing ever. <clears throat> I'm hoping that my things are just far enough away, but they might not be. Is this gonna get constructed anytime today? By the way, guys, where where y'all going? What do you need for this anyway? You need oh, you need concrete. We have we have polymers, but we don't have concrete. Hmm. Can you? Concrete extractor is. Automatically produce concrete, but, but, but they still need power and drones to service them. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so we do need that concrete extractor. So, blocking objects, no cable connection. I, 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 I really need to figure out how we, how we rotate things. Because, yeah, hang on a second. Let me, there's got to be a, a thing in here somewhere. Uh, controls. Right click action, scroll outside window. No, 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 I, 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 need, I need more specifics than that, please. Invert rotation, uh, key bindings, ah, aha. Q and E to rotate camera, it's probably the same thing. Nope, building uh, R and T, lovely. That's all I need to know, thank you. Okay, whoop, whoop, woo, wee. <laughs> uh, okay, um, so if all of this is concrete, I'm gonna go ahead and stick you here. Should be just fine. Oh, you're not too, too far from the power. We're gonna need some energy cables as well to facilitate that. So we, we have an accumulator. We're gonna have to run some cables. Probably from here to there. Ooh. Uneven terrain, you say? Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> what the? So because these things are in adjacent things, do they auto-connect or what? I guess we'll find out. Oh, it like moves this like hex field. So maybe if you're just within a certain distance, it's fine. Because the, the, the power who's it that I've gone and put down has a pretty large field that already covers this. Maybe we're fine there. So how about power cables? Can I go ahead and just 
Shoot the whoop over here. Like, is, is this close enough or, or, or go with that, I guess. And we can go ahead and we can set this play time to faster. There's a lot going on. <laughs> oh, so they're building that, but not this. Why? What's, what's the difference? Unless construction things are just less demanding to build, which would make sense. It's, it's, it's a base resource thing, so. Um, concrete extractor requires metal, and that seems to be it. Cost six metal and two gear thingies. Oh, machine parts, which we, which, which we do have a lot of because we brought some on the ship. Okay, that makes sense. So this will get up and running. We need we need power to it though. So how much? What what the cables take? The cables take metal, which we have in this thing. Can can can, can you offload maybe? Order the transport. No, I don't want it to transport. I want it to put down. How do you how do we get you to drop your stuff off? No, nope, it's fine. They've already got to figure it out. The metal metal is happening. We went way over there and got it, even though it's on the rover. We need to figure out how to get the rover to... Oh, hang on. Unload. Yes. Do that. Do do that thing. <coughs> there we go. Watch this. Metal, 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 metal. All the metal bars are coming down. There we go. <coughs> we are learning. Slowly. Awkwardly. But we are. Good job, rover. Or actually, that's the transport. Sorry. This is the rover. No, that's the explorer. This is the rover. There we go. Here's a mobile drone base. Let's probably get you over here then. You're gonna go help these guys gather this up, actually. The explorer is just there to scan stuff. But I have not seen anything that actually requires scanning yet. So, you just kinda chill there, I guess. You're fine. <coughs> Okay, so we have this, we have that, but I think, I think... This still doesn't count as being connected to that, so I'm gonna go ahead and expand the, the, the wire further. There's the wire, right? Yeah, cables. Okay, let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit, for just for a minute or two there. Come on, fellas. There's all this metal and stuff right here. Why don't you just use that? Guys. I, I, I don't understand why, why they're not just using this yet, but... Oh, wait. I hear things. Oh, it's working! It's working! Oh. Whoa, it's got a big old, like, grinder. That's cool, actually. Okay, so we're going to start making concrete, which is good. We need concrete for other things. Oh, you guys are just kind of doing nothing at the moment. Why is there another stockpile? That's the rover. That's the wrong thing. Um, um, you. Pick up these. Cool. And what is this thing supposed to be? That's a surface deposit of metal. Okay. Another big hunk of rock, that's fine. Um, can I command the drones to do things? No, that's recall. Ah, cool. And it's max whoa, too far. It's maximum range on the rover. It showed me there, there it is. Okay, so the drones can operate within that distance of the rover. So I guess it, it is better to have it kind of over here then. Okay, so we've got concrete. We're gaining building materials, which are being output to there. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, <clears throat> maybe another uh, solar panel would be a good idea? Because, I mean, hopefully... See, we have two or three concrete necessary for this now, so we should have enough concrete soon, which is good. This is 20 a day. It's... What is this? Uh, first shift on, second shift on, third, uh, night shift on. Okay, uh, I, I guess you do that for uh, like like you you might turn some of these off. Uh, actually, I might, may, may as well turn 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 the night shift off, considering we don't have power at night anyway. 
Your extractors produce waste rock as a byproduct. Waste rock can be stored in dumping sites or disposed around the extractors. Oh, they'll stop working when there's not enough drones to carry out the waste rock. Uh, and our accumulator is up. Yay. We now have a means to, to store electricity. Why are you shutting down? Uh, sensor tower. Oh, okay. That's our, our, our next suggested building of the sensor tower. Okay. Boost scanning speed, especially for nearby sectors. It extends the advance warning for disasters. You get disasters? Oh, no. Requires electronics, which we came with, and metal, which we have. Ooh, big old, big old sensor tower. Okay. Go ahead and plop, plop that down right, right by... Here's good. Okay, all right, all right. We're 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 approaching the point where we have a semi-functioning little, little uh, area here. Metals depot. So these are all storage depots. That's fine. Metal, concrete, yada yada. This is universal here. That's fine. Aha! We we need, we need a dumping site, uh, site which stores seventy waste rock. I'm not real eager about having that near anything else. Let's just go ahead and slap that down over here somewhere, I guess. We don't want to block uh, the deposit, though. That would be bad. Let's just put it here, I guess, for now. Um, down a little ways. Yeah. That'll be a dumping site. We'll figure out what to do with that later on. What else we got? We got domes, homes and education, dome services, decorations, life support is always good, of course. That needs concrete as well. We don't exactly need water just this moment, but I imagine we're gonna need it sooner or later. <clears throat> water tower. Probably start thinking about where we wanna put down this first colony of ours. Out here on this flat area looks fine. Over here would be good as well. I don't wanna to get too, too far from the original ship though. So let's, let's, let's build on this side of things to start with. So let's go ahead and make our water extractor. No cable connection. Yeah, I know. Let's just plunk it down here. Make sure that the pipe connections are going that way because we want to build up that away. Building's not working. Um, yeah, because it's nighttime. Night shift off because again, we, 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 we have no power right at the moment at night. <laughs> We're working on that. Speaking of which, what would it take to make a wind turbine? I bet you we have enough now. Probably shouldn't totally cap off this uh, cable though, so let's go ahead and expand it a little bit. This can go through things. Can it go through things? It can go through things. We're fine. No, no, it doesn't. Hang on, blocking objects. Blocking is bad. We don't want blocking. All right, let's go something like this. And we just have the, the option to build off of it later, you know what I mean? Um, wind turbine. I know I should make this more more thought out, but I'm still just kind of blundering around, figuring out what, what I'm even doing. So let's let's try that. So I'm hoping to have you know a a more power period and b you know a, a limited income at night. Drone hub. Uh, so it suggests I build a drone hub, the stationary command center that can command more drones than the rover. Oh, good call. Infrastructure, nope. Uh, production, nope. Uh, 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 er, e, um, app. Um, oh, it's right there. There. Drone hub. Hubba, hubba, hubba. Let's go ahead and slap it down right on there. We, I've, I've given these guys some things to do. We better accelerate because, I mean, it's nighttime. So let's speed up and let's see what we can do. Well, the drone hub's already built. That was fast. Needs power. I mean, I, 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 I realize that. Insufficient power. Needs three power. You produce how much in, in, in total? Uh, none right now. Total demand is eight, though. Hmm. Alright. Uh, the sun is coming up. Power is getting, getting, getting made. Output is five. Demand is 15. Oh, that's right, because I, I have things turned off at night. That's right. Right, well, the sensor tower also doesn't... So, n nothing currently has enough juice, which is not a good thing. We definitely need more juice. Uh, the 
concrete is coming for this though, so we should have our wind turbine up and running soon, I hope. There we go. So the sun is getting stronger, I guess. Nope, five. So it's prioritizing the power to the extractor, which makes sense. It's a basic resource. That 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 makes sense to me. The drones are not working though, which is odd. There's the the the, the trans. Uh, sorry, the um, there are, the rover is still within range. So these guys. Okay, so there there are still some drones moving around. That's odd. Okay. Um. Come on, fellas. We need to get this wind turbine up and running. ASAP, please. Change priority. Uh, I see. What if I turn you off for just a moment? You need more drone stuff. I know. Not working. You know what? I think we have enough concrete just for the moment. I'm going to turn you off just for a second. And see if we can get more drones working, because that would be rather helpful. Uh, change priority. Turn on and off, request maintenance, yada, yada, yada. Drones load is currently low, 4 out of 20, but you know what? That's better than we had a minute ago, I think. Um, this is 4 out of 8 drones on this thing, and this battery is holding on just fine. Our water thingy is built over there. I'll get to you in a second. I, I, I know it needs power, but they can wait a second. I want to get our power output fixed first. This thing is charging too. That's nice. That's 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 the other reason I turned off these these two things. I want to try and get get an actual like surplus of power built up. They're not building the wind turbine though, which is kind of confusing me. We have the concrete. We have the machine parts, I believe. No, we don't have any concrete. That would be why. Okay, you can get turned back on now, which is a problem. Do I have enough to build another uh, power generator? Uh, solar panel, that is. It costs metal, so yes I do. Because in the absence of wind, this will ha be our best choice. Could you uh, budge over there, buddy? Thank you. So this is definitely going to be one of our long-form plays, uh, plays, guys, because... As, as you can tell, this is clearly not a game that's going to happen quickly. The, the tutorial itself is, I mean, I've, I've been going for good gravy. I mean, I've been in-game in for 45 minutes. Is that how long I've been recording for? Holy crap. Uh, one second, let me just double check that. 20 minutes there. No, no, okay. No, it's about, it's about half an hour um, in-game. In, in Sorry, I was, I was farting around scan. in it before. Oh. Anomaly found. Select a sector to scan. Oh, anomaly, as you say. So we have a concrete deposit there and a, and a weird anomaly thing here. So we could send the explorer out to check that out, right? That's what it's for. Yeah, and it's at full battery. Well, 97%. That's that's fine. You can handle that. Go check it out, man. Go analyze that crap. I've discovered your purpose. And it is already almost nighttime again. This is not good. Our power grid is not powering very well. Yes, make that power thing. Okay, that's good. With twice as much power come tomorrow. I should have just started with these things, but oh, hang on. As more concrete is created, we're slowly, slowly getting a wind turbine. There it goes. Okay, so we have some power at night by the looks of it. Hourly production is 5.5, .5, elevation boost 9%. Okay, so the higher up it is, the more wind you get. That makes sense. Um, the night shift is, of course, less demanding. I'm going to turn you back on. No, no, you're, you're, you're on, but, but, but the night shift probably has you off anyway. That's fine. You should probably be off right now, too. Let's start building some of this um, infrastructure we'll need for water. Um, Water towers just need metal, I believe. I, I should have read that first. Durr. Yeah, metal. Let's go ahead and make a water tower right over here. We can slap down some pipes to connect those things. Why is it a big tall thing? That, that, that's a pipe. Okay. Connect the building. Connect the building. Sure. That looks easy. Actually, let's go from there to there. There. <clears throat> okay, that's easy. 
cut off water and oxygen. What do I want to do that for? I could probably slap a moisture evaporator in there somewhere as well, but this is probably fine for now. Let the drones do their thing at night. You're just kind of good chilling there, man. And what about our oh, air production? Oxygen, oxygen can be extracted from the atmosphere by a moxie. Since it is crucial for the survival of your future colonists, an oxygen tank for storage is highly recommended. Pipes are used to connect all life support buildings. If we have water over here, I guess we can build oxygen stuff a little farther down. Moxie. Slap down a moxie there. And some storage tanks to hold all that lovely, lovely air we need to breathe up here on the red planet. So many things we have to do. And of course the cables need, 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 need to connect all this, don't they? Uh, no active research. No active research. research. complete. Anomaly oh. analyzed. Milestone achieved. Oh crap. Okay, so I guess because that, that, that anomaly had like a science doohickey, uh, symbol. I, I I guess that means that, that that scanning it gave us science, which allowed us to finish our, re our, our research significantly faster. Okay. So we have better RC transport harvesting, which is great, but I'm seeing now that maybe not 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 the greatest thing ever, because the drones seem to take care of most of that anyway at the moment. Um, let's increase our oxygen production, because I'm sure that's going to be useful. Uh, and then the apartment buildings, and then... Better wind turbine production. That's always good, and we'll go with the social thing too. Let's just let's just queue up the whole thing. What's the, what's the next robotics? Drone swarm. Drone hubs are constructed with additional two drones, and the maximum number of drones is increased by eighty. Oh damn! Okay, you're all you're all on the list. I need all of you eventually, I guess. Yeah, got that. Uh, exploration. That's right. We need a new sector to scan. Let's go with the one because we we got this one down below us. Let's keep the buildable area as high as we can. This is all low-ish, but this is 82 over here. So let's go to the 63, and then across to the 82. Unless the mountainous ones might have more chance of metals, because this one has a high chance of concrete and metals. We do always need concrete and metals. Let's go ahead and go to this one then. Okay, that's fine. Our water situation is improving. How about those power cables? We need power cables. Do it this way. Around the concrete area. Go into here. I don't think I, I don't think the, the silo needs it, but these two do. Lovely. Not that. Um, okay, so the wind turbine produces 15.5 right now. No, that's 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 total. My bad. So the two solar panels produce five each. The wind pr 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 provides 5.5. So wind is pretty good, I gotta say, and it's not limited by night day either. It's just a little bit more expensive to make, is all. Well, not expensive so much as just requires a different resource. The building's not working. Yeah, I know you guys are. Getting powered, I know. Be patient, please. Criminy. So many things to do, so many things to do. <laughs> that's, wait, that's a water pipe or is it just any kind of pipe? Oh, any kind of pipe. Lovely. Go ahead and do that then. So you're getting ready to, pr to produce water. You're gonna store the water, store the air. You're getting Closer and closer and closer to being able to sustain actual life. Uh, the Explorer probably needs to recharge. Can I tell you to do that? Go recharge off of that, I guess. Oops. Eh. You're fine for power. You're fine. You know what? Why don't I just have all of you recharge? Well, then again, you're carrying metal and you're not doing much with it, so why don't you just go do some more? Okay, they don't do shift clicks, good to know. You're gonna recharge as well. So now that the, now that the, 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 the uh, drone hub is up and running, I don't think we need the, the, the RC rover here too, too much, you know what I mean? So it might be a good idea if I plan to do any, any building outside the range of the main drone hub to just keep the rover for that. Seems practical. 
So you, you go ahead and recall your drones, and we'll see if the, the, the drone hub can handle this, this crap on its own. It should be able to. I don't see why not. You're getting nice and charged up, I think. I hope. 71%. Battery is on standby. Battery should not be on standby. Battery should be charging. Battery is being drained. Now it's on standby. Charging battery. Charging battery. There! Okay, so, so the, the, the purple purple glow means charging. Gotcha. You're grinding up that lovely, lovely concrete. Oh, we have power over here as well. The water is watering. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the night shift on with this one, because air air is one of those things you kind of need a lot of, you know? Ah, well, you know what? There's no one here anyway. So there's an O2 pressure meter on this to tell how full it is. You can see how much water this gets on the side. It's 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 all coming together. So okay, you know what, guys? I'm gonna leave this here. I know that this 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 little little outpost of mine is hardly functioning, but I'm grasping the basics. I'm gonna keep working at it. I'm gonna come back. We'll see how I end up with these things, or at least I'll I'll I'll, I'll come back in when we're ready to start bringing in colonists. Because I don't want to just sit here all day long with you guys watching me tinker with with random stuff that probably doesn't matter too too much in the grand scheme of things. I'm still learning. Hopefully, you're enjoying this though. Ooh, big metal deposit over there. I am going that way in a minute. Mm -mm. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So look forward to the next episode where we're going to have a bunch of colonists, hopefully, landing and then not dying, hopefully. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hopefully you have a great rest of the day, and I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and for now, Monster Mad out. Bye-bye!